and done. All the social media set up and software testing is complete. Electronic payment systems ready. It's all working, Julie. We're a go, buddy. Fucking way, buds. You know what? You are the fucking man, buddy. Oh, I know I'm the fucking man. I mean, I honestly don't think there's a snowball's chance of fucking hell this business is going to work, but I did my best. Here we go. same time it becomes a weird like festival with blueberries are they a blueberry fest dude them? you know what blueberries are all well and good but don't be smoking the wacky lettuce dude don't be out there gathering the wacky <laughs> lettuce don't package the wacky lettuce and send it to king cobra in hopes that he might find a new fix 
We are here live. <laughs> wild water. Another Yakov stream featuring the gang. We got Jack here. What up, bruh? Hey, how's it going? Chilling. We got Polak. What's up? And we got Sped Kaczynski. What's up, bro? What's up? We're here to talk to you people about the do's and don'ts of drugs and how why you should fucking mainline heroin. <laughs> what do you guys think about wacky lettuce? The the <laughs> what do you even call this shit? How can you even insult the wacky lettuce even more? Like there's already hillbilly heroin. They have good shit. They don't have to go collect the fucking the wild lettuce. Well, it's op it's wild lettuce or opium lettuce and like it's a real thing. Like Alexander the Great used it. And you said it hits like ketamine? I would say more like a like a DXM, like fucking like fucking like robo. A DXM. <laughs> yeah, on, it's dude. like a fucking Then why do they call this the opium of lettuce? Because like it has a mild anagelic an ah, anagelic effect to anal analgesic. <laughs> analgesic. Analgesis. Yeah. <laughs> Good band, actually. Uh, I doubt it. I fucking doubt that. Straight up. Uh, They're like yeah. grindcore, right? Yeah, some shit. So what's it makes, up? Like what you got to do? You, you go and harvest the wild lettuce, and then you put it in the pot, and you boil it until you get this black sap. And that's what you take. Kratom is legal. The Indian man sells yeah. it at the store. He'll hand it to you and go, ooh, Soma. <laughs> Soma. <laughs> Soma. 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 Holy shit. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I, I've, all my drug dealers are Indian now. And all my drugs are legal. It's a fucking beautiful <laughs> world. I thank President Trump. For, tr President Trump went out there. He was like, we have to make Kratom. We have to have the best Kratom. We have to sell Kratom on every corner. Kratom's going to be huge. Our Kratom is going to kick your ass. You're going to take it and feel like you died for eight hours. You're not going to get anything done. You're going to take it before you go to work. You're going to go home early. You're going to have to say you have diarrhea because we have the best Kratom. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we love our Kratom, We're win don't we, folks? Bigly. We love our Kratom, don't we? I like, I like that Meng Da. That Meng Da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're man. Having fun. Hey, we, yeah, we have two months until election year begins. Confiscate his ballot. Confiscate his ballot. Who, do you, who are you going to vote for in the next election? Delta 8 or Meng Da? Which <laughs> <laughs> who you got, dude? Delta what team are you on? on? Delta 8. Never yeah. let me down. Yeah, yeah. Delta I mean, 8 has a, has a more promising stimulus package. Yeah. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, just gonna buy a three-month package with my boat. I got a new uh, new smoke shop. Amazing prices. I've been going nuts with the kratom. Nice. Almost as nuts as our boy King Cobra, who we'll get to in time. We're gonna talk about his dark magic. Praise King Cobra's magic. Praise King Cobra's magic. Cobes will. Prevail. We have to invoke him. But before we do that, <laughs> we're, we have a uh, alien update. We got to check out. Mm. So let's see what's up here, dude. Whoa. What are you doing to that guy? <laughs> He's loosening him up. <laughs> Who is this strange being from another planet? He reminds me of someone. A couple people. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, we got Stone Cold ET, dog. What? <laughs> He's from space, what? From the cosmos, what? From Jupiter, <laughs> what? That's right, dude. We out here, Stone Cold ET, out here in the Big Apple, the Big Apple, what? New York City, what? Manhattan, what? Everybody wants a picture with old Stone Cold ET. <laughs> Get up, get up. <laughs> start yelling at him. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This is what the, the alien invasion looks like. <laughs> you wanna see old Stone Cold ET whoop some earthling ass? Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, punk. <laughs> you turn that down a little, Jack, on your end. No chance. What is that, Cyrat? <laughs> no, it's not. It's Stone Cold DT. And Chris Masters of the WWE. <laughs> oh shit! We got we got ourselves a slobber knocker. <laughs> he sounds like Cyrax for real. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Like the way You're telling me him, Stone like... Cold Steve Austin sounds like Cyrax? Stone Cold Steve Cyrax. <laughs> Stone Cold Stone Cold. <laughs> You're gonna see, see me kick Music Biz Marty's ass <laughs> with baseball bat. Let me tell you something, Marty. Let me tell you something, Marty. Uh, you know, to quote the great Neil Hamburger, E.T. loves, uh, what was it, Eminem's Reese's Pieces because ah, they remind shit. him of the taste of cum on his home planet. <laughs> if I was E.T., I would eat Junior Mints. Refreshing. Why would E.T. do this? Stone Cold E.T. on a kick some ass. What? Some butt. What? Some anus. What? Everything is fine now. There's no more alien invasion. It's over. It's, this Aliens is normal. Nothing gay going on here. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 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 you stupid son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! <laughs> 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 He's just dragging him. What? Jesus Christ. Jesus. Music Biz Dude, Morty. If wrestling isn't real, explain this. Right? <laughs> this is real as it gets, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's so Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Genghis Conrad. <laughs> Beautiful music. This is music from his home planet. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love Beethoven. <laughs> what? Mozart. What? <laughs> what would you do if you walked in and this was the alien invasion? I'd probably just start, start moshing immediately. Start moshing them. Yeah, start, start moshing them. Yeah. Picking up change. <laughs> <laughs> I would gather all the children around the alien. Yeah. Yeah, Come, right. little children. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, 
He was truly a man of many talents. I will give Stone Cold E.T. that. Yeah, he's got some piano skills. He is. This is back when you didn't make memes for, like, Internet Cloud or anything. You just made them because you were, like, high and drunk with your friends. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> the fuck, dude? <laughs> the hell is this? Amazing. That's the end of that chapter. Glorious. <laughs> oh, dude, that just reminded me. Um, did you hear about this dude, um, the prankster in Virginia? What did he, oh, what the he dude done guy now? ate a bullet. Yeah, he, he just like he was like he oh, walked yeah, up to the dude that. trying to prank him, and like the dude just shot him. I I <laughs> did hear something about this. Then I heard the guy got off. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he got off, and the dude uh, he 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 got off like multiple times, and the other dude, uh, huh. <laughs> other dude, fucking uh, said he's gonna he he survived, and he said he's going to keep pranking people. So what was that. what was the prank? <laughs> I didn't I didn't see this. He like walked up to him with a phone, and the phone is like saying like I'm thinking about my twinkle. I'm thinking about my twinkle. I'm thinking about my twinkle. <laughs> yeah, it's just like get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> And they just shoot <laughs> mm. in the middle of a mall. Well, I'm glad mall, that, I'm yeah. glad this is legal. I'm glad it's legal to just blast the motherfucker <laughs> comes and tries to meme you. What? you don't be That's why if you're gonna if you're gonna make content like that, at least be a big motherfucker like Frank Hassel, you know. Yeah. Oh, I, and Frank Hassel's lucky. Like, like he he sh all things considered, probably should have gotten shot. That's yeah. not yeah. a moral <laughs> judgment. <laughs> This is like how big of a fucking dude do you got to be like on my porch before I want to shoot you? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I actually, I asked him that. I'm like, yo, do you expect to get shot from this? The one time I was on stream, with yeah. him, I was asking like, someone's going to shoot you or arrest you. And it hasn't happened yet, surprisingly. <laughs> I give the guy credit. Hey, man. Nice. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. So you guys doing any good drugs recently, except for the fucking, the wild lettuce? You don't, good? you don't have faith in my wild lettuce. Yeah, does not have faith in the wacky lettuce. I went and I found some, some trip reports from people who did real drugs and had a bad time. <laughs> so, mm. my friend went completely insane on acid and it was terrifying. A couple days ago, mm. I tried acid for the first time with some friends. They all tried it a few times except me. I took one and a half. Most of my other friends took two or three. But one friend decided to take four to be cool or some shit. He ended up running mm. around the house screaming, Where am I? Don't touch me. I love you guys. And sometimes my name. And he would say these things over and over for hours, all the while pissing himself nonstop and trashing the whole house. Like he was knocking everything off of every shelf and bouncing off the walls, screaming the same things over and over. So now this definitely isn't unheard of. I I had a friend, I had a friend when I was like a teenager, and we would smoke weed together, and he would always get angry. Now th I mm. thought that was weird. Um, he was the only person I ever knew that got angry from weed. But then one time he did mushrooms with some of my other friends. I wasn't there for it, and apparently like he pissed his pants. He was like saying he was like talking like a demon, saying terrible shit. He like f just ripped the strings out of my friend's guitar. All sorts of wacky <laughs> shit. So it's definitely a thing that these psychedelics can bring about latent mental demonic issues. Possession. Maybe schizophrenia and or demonic de possession, one or the other, and also both. Yeah. Mm. So that can definitely my view on My view on any psychedelic is you're opening yourself up to whatever sort of uh, forces are out there, good or evil. So, sure, sure. You know? Sure. <laughs> yeah. When I tried to talk to him, I would say, I'm here for you, are you okay? And he wouldn't comprehend a word I said and just kept looping those few phrases and sprawling out across the house. Him doing this made everyone freak the fuck out. Like he would scream my name, I'd come up to him and he starts screaming, who are you, where am I, I love you. He even got to a point where he would shove his hand in his pants and scream, jerk off, who am I, I need to jerk <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, classic behavior. <laughs> This is what we do with right. the gathering. We were holding him to the ground so he didn't break more things covered in his pee. Everyone was so scared. We all went into full panic mode and didn't know what to do. I was so terrified seeing my friend like that and we were all just full on panicking. We had no trip sitter, so I ended up calling a friend over to drive him home. During the drive home, he almost jumped out of the car on the highway multiple times and grabbed the wheel and almost swerved off the highway and they almost died. 
The next day, my friend doesn't remember any of it. I'm still in complete shock, and I honestly never want to talk to him again. Me and all my friends had the worst trip ever, like we all felt was pure panic and fear for six hours straight. This was probably the worst fear I've ever felt, and it was just traumatizing. It was traumatic. Doing drugs is traumatic. It is, but that's, that's the fun of it. That's the beauty of that's it. The... <laughs> we take drugs because we want to suffer. And if that's not why you're taking them, you should probably stop taking them. Mm. Good point. <laughs> yeah. You want to suffer. Yep. Take drugs. It, it might actually help you be a stronger person, but you will suffer. <laughs> mm. You must embrace the suck in order to grow as a person. Everything that's sucks true. on some level. <laughs> true that. Well, if you don't like take psychedelics and look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I am a disgusting, hideous organism. And you you didn't even take psychedelics, I don't think. I, yeah. Ego death. At some point you have to have that reckoning where you realize that like human humankind is a parasite. <clears throat> yeah, but then yeah. you have to like work your way back from that. Or That's stay true. there. I don't it's up you, to you can hang out there, there. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the, the most popular comment here, it says, for your friend, disrespect acid or any psychedelic and it will not be kind to you. For you, before you trip with anyone, ask yourself, do you trust them? Can they handle themselves on substances? Do they plan on taking a reasonable amount? Is this a person you want to take care of slash be responsible for? Do they have any mental <laughs> issues slash instability? And the, the take care of be responsible for part is like, that's the big one. That's like how you... How you sitting. Was, back in the day, like that's how you would know like the homies from the not homies is like, who's going to like <laughs> hang out with you for six hours while you're way too high on drugs or wasted or something. Yep. Like that's how you know the real ones. And like, you know, kids, are, no kids are thinking about like, am I ready to do this? How much of this should I take? Do I trust these people? And they don't fucking think about those things. So that's like when you sink or swim basically. And these basically sound like a bunch of high school kids. Yeah. That part about not respecting or not disrespecting the drug is interesting too. Uh, so I think that's true of like a lot of things. Like I think like like money, for instance. Like you you can like piss money. I don't know. You can like you can do things that'll make money not attractive to you in a weird kind of way. Yeah. And like similar yeah. thing with like you can you can piss off a drug or you can you can put yourself in a state where a drug isn't going to be kind to you, where like you have to be like disciplined by it. I think this is sort of yeah, the distinction as a consequence. But this is the distinction between like proper use and just abuse essentially right. and it, it's like you know abusing drugs doesn't mean like you're doing them all the time necessarily abusing drugs could be like you, you just took five hits of lsd and you didn't consider the set and setting of the trip yep, mm. yep. like that's abuse Been that's not before. respecting it and it's a simple <laughs> thing it's like are you in the right place with the right people essentially mm -hmm. and like if you don't think about yeah. that you're abusing the drug you don't have respect for the drug yeah and that's when you suffer yeah. as we all do and the internet, obviously, uh, uh, people disrespect the internet, and it, it comes down on them. Yeah, the internet's a big old piece of shit. I don't know what it means to respect the internet anymore. I thought respecting the internet was like, don't use your like real name. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> don't give anyone your address. Yeah, don't that's talk. that's true. That's true. But I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think it's like a. It's like a semi-living entity that yeah. is like increasingly intelligent. Um, Terrence McKenna has definitely made that point about mushrooms before. I I think it's I don't I don't know that yeah, I quite agree with that. Funded. Yeah, um, but he would basically imply that they were like they were seeded by an alien intelligence, not necessarily meaning like like extraterrestrials as we think of it, not like greys like that. Like I don't I don't know what exactly he was implying, but something far more. Is he spiritual. saying they came on like a an asteroid or something something like that it, that's that's a potential but the point is like he's saying that they are like an intelligently created thing that came from space sort of <clears throat> but and I, I don't know if i would agree with points like that but it's like because you can't really make that point about lsd yet lsd shows you very very so, similar yeah. things and lsd is like a fucking swiss scientist guy developed it yeah i i can't help yeah. but think that these were these are just things that our brains do. You know what I mean? Right. And if you inhibit yeah. like one small aspect of the brain, suddenly like you have all this extra stimulation that you never would have noticed before. Right. All right. Or good or bad. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
So anyway, mm. my friend believes believe my friend believes me and the rest of our friends are involved in a huge narco traffic network and want to pull him in after taking acid. <laughs> you guys ever believe that? <laughs> I've had friends who who like, all my friends are Freemasons. I had friends who would who would be inclined to believe that that people in our friend group were like conspiring against them. I've seen shit like that before. <laughs> and this sounds like it's basically the same thing. It's like symptoms of schizophrenia. Yeah, even with just like too much weed, I've seen people have shit like that happen. Yeah. Not like not necessarily going to that level, but just like like believing that people are, are plotting against them when it doesn't make any logical sense for them to be doing that and like they're not. So cool. th this dude's friend freaked out on acid yesterday, like two hours after ingesting. He was completely sober, the, the guy writing this. He was sober and trip-sitting him and another friend. He says, we both tried to calm him down. We tried everything. Breathing exercises, changing the music, changing the environment, distracting him with other conversation topics, but nothing helped. We couldn't get any trip killer like Benzo's, unfortunately. Right now, 20 hours later, he is still tripping and not making sense at all. 20 hours later. <laughs> Holy shit. That's fucking insane. That's basically, like, that tells you right there, like, it unlocked, like, a latent mental issue. But that's not the yep. acid at that point. <clears throat> so he says... He is scared, confused, doesn't seem to trust us, but also doesn't want to be left alone. He peed himself, too. He only took a tab and a half. <laughs> tab and a half. So that's not that much. Uh, and definitely shouldn't have you full-on tripping 20 hours later. I know you never believe your dealer when he says each tab is 300, <clears throat> 300 micrograms, but like maybe this time it was close to that, because OMG. It, um... This is not the first time my friends tripped. Once we all took three tabs, and though it was a challenging trip, he didn't lose it like this. So there's no way these are 300 microgram tabs. There's just no fucking way. And like, it's one thing if your dealer says it, like that means fuck all nothing. If he paid fucking three times the actual like normal value, maybe. I don't buy that for a second though. 300 micrograms a tab is retarded high. That's like useless to give to normal people. Going over two tabs is too much for your average person. So I, I think this is just, there's probably strong acid maybe, but like to be tripping 20 hours later off of a tab and a half, that makes no sense. Yeah. <clears throat> My other friend took MDMA like two hours in, so he was very okay. Super grounded and sharp, I guess you could say. They both are roomies, so my other friend is taking care of him. I had to come to the house because I was freaking out too. Like six, he said, to come to my house. So six hours in, I smoked some weed to try to calm down and go to sleep. Well, I ended up having an acid trip just by smoking. Exactly like one. Now, I've never had that before. I've like always tripped on while, while doing acid. Or what am I trying to say here? I've always smoked weed while tripping. Um, hmm. Now, I also always had a pretty high tolerance for weed. But I never noticed that the, the effects of the acid were intensified by just smoking weed. I guess I could definitely see that if you have no tolerance. Uh, where was I? My heart felt like I was going to pop out of my chest and I got really scared. Thankfully, I've been meditating on a daily basis for like two weeks now, so I managed to let go, calm down, and sleep for two to three hours. But I woke up in a sweat, fearful and anxious. The friend was having the bad trip. The friend who was having the bad trip just kept talking nonsense and saying gibberish in the, in the other room. Uh, that's another thing. Meditation is very, very useful when you're, uh, when you're tripping, um, when it becomes overwhelming, you kind of just sit there and you silence your brain or, and when I say silence, like you can't silence your brain on LSD, but what you can do is like shut it up so that you can kind of just observe. Right. And then you're, you're seeing shapes and colors and all sorts of madness in your own mind. Right. You can kind of just melt <laughs> into it. And that's, that's the way to handle it. Yeah. Yeah. So back to my house on the bus, I started feeling anxious again. I wanted to scream and desperately ask for help. Again, somehow, I kept my composure and got home. Showered, drank tea, played Tetris, and slept for two hours, I think. Uh, this has been a really awful experience. I don't want to go anywhere near psychedelics for a very long time, maybe forever. Also, probably won't be smoking weed for a couple of weeks, pussy. My friend is still tripping balls, and my, my other hasn't been able to rest for more than 24 hours because of taking care of him. The last thing is that the friend that is having the bad trip thinking we are going out that we are going to either kill him or make him part of our narco traffic network. It is not the first time he has had these thoughts. 
One time he smoked a lot of weed with people he didn't really trust and had the same thoughts. Another time, the same story. Yeah, this dude's schizo. Yeah. He smoked weed with us at a party and thought everybody was conspiring against him. Even sober, he gave it the benefit of the doubt. I thought he was over it because we all talked about it, explained the things he believed he saw, and it became a funny story. Well, now with this acid trip, I feel like he is going to firmly believe it for the rest of his life. Just wanted to share the experience, or else he could be unpredictable. So, update. After almost two days of sleep deprivation, delusions, paranoia, paranoia, etc., he got some sleep and woke up a little confused but feeling better. I talked to him on the phone and he told me it was the most horrific experience of his life. I could tell by listening to him speak that he was back. Nothing like before, thankfully. We talked about certain moments of the trip, how it was, uh, how it was that everything went south. He told me he thought we were going to kill him because he was a snitch on our supposedly illegal business. He remembers that we were insistent on having him go to sleep, which he thought meant a secret code between us two to kill him. Nobody that he knows in his family have been diagnosed with a mental disorder. However, he has always told me and our friend that his father is a crazy person. His father lives abroad. I've met him, and even though he has some weird ideas and opinions, I don't think he's an act- he has an actual mental disorder. But who knows? There is no way of knowing. He's just European. He's just European. <laughs> Anyways, the good thing is that he is back. I strongly advise him to take a break from all drugs, and he completely agrees. He told me he needs time to process what happened. He didn't say it explicitly, but I felt that he thinks there were some scary things that he felt so real, it's hard to just let them go and think of them as just another bad trip. I might be missing some info, so if anyone has any questions, I'll gladly reply, but who cares about that? So, yeah, this is a dude who definitely is schizophrenic to some degree. When he does drugs, it comes out. Yep. Yep. I wonder if he drinks if it'll come out. Probably. So yeah, uh, not usually. That's not usually how it works. Usually, with people like that, they get angry when they drink. They're like angry drunks. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> so well, that explains a bit comments. Right? Speculate that he entered a state of mania, especially if he's not able to sleep for twenty hours after dropping it. I agree. Um, yep. Then they're saying that it could be possible that he got a research chemical because that just lasts too long for LSD alone. Yeah. No. Yeah, true. That's, that's possible too. I mean. I doubt it. And it's possible, yeah, especially because he said how strong he thought it was. If he's thinking it's 300 micrograms, there's just no fucking way. But at the same time, most research chemicals that are like that, if you take that much, like, well, I don't even know, man. He said he took a tab and a half. I don't know, man. I think this is straight up schizophrenia. He might have discovered the underlying conspiracy that pervades everything that he <laughs> Yeah, he became the well, most enlightened man. Maybe that's what, yeah. what the schizophrenia bit is. Maybe you're picking yeah. up on something, but I think it's like a misinterpretation of it. It's like uh, you're you're aiming it all at you, and that's not mm. really what's going on. You shall uh, know the truth, and the truth oh. shall drive you insane. That's true. Um, Simple as. <laughs> Simple. Well, but the 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 uh, I don't know if we should even if we should even bring this up, but uh, the, the philosopher Deleuze talks about the. He has like the paranoid pole and the schizophrenic pole, and mm. to him, like the more um, the more you're like making connections with the way that you're thinking, the more you're schizophrenic. The more you're like mm. splitting off in all these different directions and experimenting and becoming more creative, and the more that you solidify everything into like one narrative, where it's like the man is out to get you and watching you and everything, the more you become paranoid. And like that, you become more like rigid and top down, and like and like authoritarian, basically. Uh, I don't know. And like that's that's like the center of his whole philosophy is that is that kind of dichotomy. Well, do you guys you guys think that maybe this guy does have a, a drug trafficking ring, and this guy actually did <laughs> snitch on them, and that's why they were going to kill him? <laughs> What if that's what was going is, on? Is it, how's the guy doing now? How, how is he now? After he's thriving, him? dude. He's he's fighting back okay. against the reptilians, dude. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's great. It's like it's a, that, is, that, that boy grew oh, up to be me. <laughs> <laughs> if they killed him, then it was crazy. If they didn't kill him, it was, he was fucking crazy. But if he died, that would be proof that he was, he was right the whole time. So I, I would like to, on that note, so considering like how his friends might have been gang stalking them. I just wanted to know if anyone experienced partial castration as part of their gang stalking. Mm. <laughs> no. Not not yet. Nope. <laughs> they haven't they haven't sent the the scissor man to you. So I don't know. <laughs> you wake up one ball. 
I don't know why or how they did it, but I experienced significant shrinking in my testicles. Facial hair stopped growing in suddenly as, th as thick as it was and much slower. I tested my testosterone, both saliva and blood test, for it to be at the bottom of the barrel. And I was always extremely healthy. My penis and testicles have barely any sensation in them now. They feel dead sometimes. Desire for sex significantly decreased. Semen is watery and barely any comes out. Before it was thick with a lot of volume. <laughs> <laughs> my, major my, load brother my you joints see, I shrunk this guy's balls my joints always ache my motivation and vigor in life is significantly down as well and worse they always seem to threaten to finish the job and turn me into a god forbid me ever even thinking this woman <laughs> apparently it was it was punishment for looking at weird porn and gore online nothing illegal like I was some future serial killer they had to stop <laughs> No, um, the CIA shrunk my balls. Favorite misfit, favorite Ramon, Ramon song. Dude, and the weird thing, the weird thing, the weird thing is, I think it's more about male jealousy, as I've always been the kind of guy cops would often be looking for excuses to harass for no good reason other than being a bit of a pretty boy. These cops trying to find justification to slam me to the ground is probably a sick and twisted fantasy of theirs. Just how finding justification for castration is probably a fantasy for my gang stalkers. These people are monsters. <laughs> it, it's been years I since it happened. Got, when you get to the point years. where you're like, you're measuring your semen <laughs> for any <laughs> reason. How many, how many micrograms Whatever of semen am I putting onto this That's LSD the tab? The problem mm. is you were measuring your semen. <laughs> you were fucking like... Yeah, you were yeah. fucking... Like, maybe you were fucking maybe you're just thinking too much, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sounds like uh, schizophrenia and um, severe narcissism, probably. <laughs> So anyway, I gonna guess. it's been years since a... it happened. One day, my testicles and facial hair felt weird after months of them hitting me with directed energy weapons down there. Jeez. <laughs> I thought I, I would heal in time, time, but that just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. They keep blasting me with lasers in my cock. <laughs> <laughs> they have the fucking shrink ray, dude. They're blasting me from space from a satellite with the shrink ray, <laughs> making my balls small, dog. They got the heart attack gun. They got the ball sack shrink gun. <laughs> the ball shrink you later. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You the ball I the government. The government got my dick, and now it's small. I'm sorry. Fema <laughs> <laughs> stole my ball. Mm. <laughs> okay, this looks CIA like CIA took my semen away. <laughs> so this is from Crab Crab Human Nine Thousand says. I'm reading your blog, and you're noticing your penis is different. I mentioned how <laughs> witches use demons or genies to trade out your testicles, but they can also Genie. do that with your penis and other parts like eyes and lips. Also, it isn't always spying on you with microphones and cameras. They can read your mind and spy on you using witchcraft in your home, like through mirrors and witch boxes. Or I don't own a witch box, bro. <laughs> or going there directly themselves in spirit. Oh, box 360. I, I had helicopters hovering low over my house and saw a black helicopter fly over my house low after I woke up and saw an astral spider crawl over me and then it disappeared. Astral spider. Jesus Christ. Freemasons or Jays that work with the police to gaslight and do witchcraft often have gray pickup trucks. Gray, I tell you. They might be trafficking children for sex in them, which when they're not doing gaslighting on you and others, they're doing that. They call these children that live with the cop or other witch their son or daughter, and even police have them. Mm. Mm. The government calls these traffickers babysitters. They usually get sacrificed after a certain age, so they don't talk to anyone, or because they're or because their anus and or vagina have been too damaged to go on living. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> and um. and or, yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Bowie claimed, so there was a whole thing with David Bowie and Jimmy Page that they were, like, doing a whole wizard battle with each other in the 70s, and, yeah. like, they were both into curly and magic, and uh, Bowie claimed that, that Jimmy Page, like, cursed him, and then that, like, witches were stealing his semen, 
Um, and that 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 made me think of that. And then this also connects mm-hmm. to the fact that he um, he predicted like Kanye West um, in a song called Five Years. And then like five years after that song came out, Kanye West was born. And uh, there's a theory that Kanye West is in fact David Bowie's star child or, or come child. Or, mm-hmm. I yeah, know, I, like, I think it's born. definitely his son. Uh, you can see the yeah. resemblance. And on one of David Bowie's <laughs> albums, I think it's Ziggy Stardust. There is a sign above Bowie, and it says K West. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. He's definitely yeah. His boy. His so boy. I think the witch has stole his demon for uh, yeah. for the new world order to create Kanye, <laughs> who is the new uh, Fuhrer. So, so Kanye, <laughs> Kanye is this generation's Yakub, is what you're basically, saying. yeah, like, like a like reverse Yakub, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you actually made uh, that. So you saying she's a gold digger? Do, <laughs> do any of you guys remember J.F. Gary Epi? The public space. The public, the the public space. The retarded remember pussy. Mama J.F. I remember Mama J.F. I'll always Mama remember. JF. Rest in peace, Mama J.F., dude. I'll always remember yep. you. So oh, what she's happened? in a we, better place. We, uh, we used to play a, a clip somewhat regularly. Mama J.F. accuses... No white guilt of being her gang stalker and trying to murder. Her. And she comes into yeah, the I mean, public space and she's like, No white guilty, he was stalking me and he tried to make spiritual movements with me and he tried to kill me. And there's no white guilt. Where's no white guilt? I bet you that dude disappeared off the face of the earth. I don't know. Never... He's around, he's around. I've seen him around he on does, Twitter he and does, shit. He looks like a Palladian. That, dude, that was a whole reptilian. He's dude. creepy looking. <laughs> I believe that guy's a gang stalker. I do, most definitely. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. looks a bit like uh, Eugene Tombs from the X Files. To be honest, totally Eugene honest, Victor yeah. Tombs. Oh, to talk to him and see if he has any cut, like, dude. <laughs> To be totally honest, <laughs> I know, odd, dude. I know he was in the military. I, I am not sure what the hell he did exactly, but he definitely strikes me as one of them guys who was like in the military, had a really bad time, came back all fucked up, and now he like all his time is spent like trying to play a part and like ignore all the dark shit that they keep thinking about. Yeah. He strikes me like that, <laughs> which makes me think he could easily be a gang stalker. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. So the the update on Mama JF is that JF killed her. Oh, she's dead. Like she's surreal. dead. <laughs> For real? All right. So we haven't found the body joke. yet. We haven't found the body yet, but uh, here's the tweet <laughs> referring to this. She's, she's missing. <laughs> She's definitely <laughs> missing. <laughs> so, someone with the tart alarm. The police in the Canada <laughs> is looking for the Mama JF because, in true Mama JF fashion, she has left our home in in June and has disappeared from the map. Well, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it's been June, oh, yeah. and there's no ago. sign of her. <laughs> It's not good. He's just now. It's Dude, this is why it should be illegal to have sex with this kind of people, though. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. I am sorry. sure. I am sure that the Mama JF is fine. I know she has been safe for at least the two days after I dropped her where she wanted in June. Mama JF left our home entirely voluntarily to go live a life of the adventure. Where it would bring her. Wherever it would bring her. What? Wait, sounds- so he dumped her? He dumped her somewhere. When she broke up with him. And now she's just gone. <laughs> this is the wording you use you when you're talking. When you have right. to go take your dog to get put down, but you don't want to tell your kid. Yeah. <laughs> He's Say on the what farm. You're... We took him to the farm. He'll, he could run yeah. around all day. <laughs> so JF gave her the uh, of mice and men treatment, is what you're saying. The mice and men treatment. <laughs> Big Lenny. Uh, it tell me about the rabbits, JF. So he says, but but since she has but since she has electronically disappeared, not connecting to her cell phone or updating me or her family, I ask anyone who would have encountered her to just notify the police so that. They can know she is safe. And I ask her if she wants to leave a note to the police, me, or the family to ensure well, everyone of her, her safety. Huh? He tagged her electronically? No. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Sorry. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> the whole thing is one day he got sick of her, I guess. 
and he drove her out to the park and left her there. <laughs> she hasn't been seen since June. And he's assuring us that she's fine. She's just going on an adventure. <laughs> Trudeau is going to have a whole ass trial against JF. Dude. And they, they, he, they, yeah. he is being investigated over it. Most definitely. Yeah, he's fucked. He's, he's fucked. fucked. No, he went on some dude, stream to like a whole political prisoner type scandal, dude. Yeah. He he has he since was. gone on some stream to talk about the situation. I didn't get a chance to watch that yet, but I bet there's a bunch oh, of yeah. funny shit in it that I want to clip. I'm sure because he has a funny accent. And he's a dumbass. <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes you get a trad wife, and sometimes you get a tarred wife. The only thing we have left to to remember Mama JF is her nudes. I never saw that. <laughs> I've never seen. It's your loss. How did that I happen? I've not good. seen They're those. Fine, I like them. Pretty good. Mm. Okay. I'm in. How did that happen? She we got some nice things? downs. Tits. Oh, she was at it, it, what looks like a gay pride parade, naked, covered in body paint. Ooh. Oh. It looks like she was the kind of retarded girl who just latch onto random political ideas and probably had some libtard beliefs then started watching J uh, jf and then started spray painting like richard spencer for president around canada <laughs> damn what's dickie spencer doing these days not much dude not fucking much i don't have a fucking be it a, clue. Be it a fed somewhere else yeah he, uh, he's a he's on is he like is he still like riding for biden he's still riding for biden yeah <laughs> I have no idea. But dude. yeah, he's just doing he's doing a grip grip circus. Whatever grip circuit he can get, you know. Probably making some good money in like Virginia or wherever. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's doing real fucking well, dude. Why can't yeah. the government just hook me he up had, to be a disinformation agent? He, just, he had like a huge titty Russian wife and then got rid of her. I don't know what that was about. Kicked her ass to the curb, you're telling me? Well, I think it was because she, like, was half Georgian and lied to him. And, you know, the ethno state wouldn't accept her, so he had to get rid of her. I don't know what any I mean, of that Russian, shit means. Yeah, Russians aren't, like, fully white, according to a lot of a lot of uh, uh, white supremacists, right? Well, I mean, I, I'm of the opinion be, at this but, I mean, point. Genetic testing I don't like, fucking think wrong. white means the same thing in Europe. Or Eurasia no. that it does in America. It doesn't. That's the it problem. Doesn't. There, we're, they, we're using a very American term, term, like American idea yeah. of. I know what a white guy is in America. I don't care how Polish yeah. or Irish or Italian he is. Like I can tell if he's a white guy, and I know what the fuck I'm yeah. looking at. It ain't like that in Europe. <laughs> I would know what the right. fuck I'm thinking, looking at. I don't know if I'm white right. in Europe. I have no idea. Yeah. 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 Well, it's like Anglo, and then. I don't know, Germanic, and then like Italian. Yeah, like, yeah but even like... even within these fucking categories, people hate each other. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Do you guys think yeah, King Cobra JFS would King Cobra JFS be white in Europe? Uh, uh, I'm gonna um, say no. I think he's more related to frogs. He might be the whitest man alive <laughs> in America. Everything about him is I, the whitest culture in fucking history. Is, I never consider heard him to rap music. the last living Neanderthal, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. He's the last living Neanderthal. <laughs> um, so what's now? What? It's at tubes. It's uh, he's a, he's a Scottish English Viking. That's what he always says. He is says. a Scottish English Viking. Sped, what is, <laughs> he says that? Holy shit! What is your your? Uh, I don't know. How, how does your history with the Gothic bad boy King Cobra JFS? How, when did you first hear about him? Why do you like him? Uh, it was about summer of 2020 from a podcast who covers him. <laughs> Some of y'all might know who they are. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's how I was introduced to Cobra. And I was like, all right, there's this unemployed, alcoholic, mall goth with, um, <laughs> incredibly autistic tendencies on YouTube who, uh, gets drunk <laughs> and, um, Performs acts of um, culinary alchemy, yeah. basically. He, he's a, a, a French chef, a vintner, a ventriloquist, a rock star. What else am I missing here? Oh, oh. He is the next Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, a, a wand maker. Most importantly, you know. vintner. 
<laughs> Vintner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that I can say that about him. That's just funny as shit to me. Right. It's a delicious fucking bottle of fucking I don't know what the hell. I'm I don't even like wine that much. I'm drinking mm. blueberry blueberry wine. It's young it's like Cobes, hooch. It's gonna be a Cobes Cabernet. Yeah. <sighs> Mm, yeah, cool. He should like oh, that. See, he could monetize this. He could open his own vineyard and have like flavors like Mountain Dew Doritos. Uh, <laughs> Imagine like, this. Imagine this. Like... Mountain Dew Code Red and Bud Light flavored wine. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> with let's uh, break all the rules. With the uh, <laughs> with the Reese's peanut butter cups, I was looking like he was making some Tom Pearl wine there. I got, so. here's an idea. Here's what we could probably Pearl actually. Pearl zone. I think we could sell Cobra on taking a bottle of Mountain Dew and just putting yeast in it and be like, there's enough sugar in it already. Right. Yeah. It'll just ferment. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can just drink, drink that. Drink the fermented Dew. Yeah. Drink the fermented Dew. Do the Dew, finally. <laughs> All right. So we should probably, Jack, do you know who Cobes is? I've seen a couple videos. Yeah. And Polak, you, you are somewhat aware of Cobes. Pretty right? much the same 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 thing with ja with uh, uh Sped over here. We uh I've learned about him in like twenty twenty during the pandemic bullshit where there was a lot of like content to just go through. And uh yeah I was like what the what what is wrong with this man? And then like I watched him get thrown out of a bar and after that <laughs> it was like yeah, it was I'm thinking of all the videos I missed for this. <laughs> Fuck me. There's just too many. I wanted to highlight his black magic stylings, though, tonight. <laughs> With King Cobra, for me, I, I found him... I don't even remember. I can't remember the time period. I know... I think it was right after the hair dye incident is when I found King Cobra. And I didn't spend that much time paying attention to it. Um, I liked him. It was fine. It was funny. But I just, like... I'm a Chris Chan guy. What can I say? But then King Cobra started to grow on me. As Chris Chan had disappeared and all the other little cows on Earth became, like political or just like vexatious litigants or it's something like that it's never anything fun so at that point i realized king cobra is like the last pure angel of innocence <laughs> he's the last lol cow that just does funny shit simply simple <laughs> you don't have to bring it and he, the funniest thing is like he tries to bring politics into it fails miserably and it's just the funniest shit on earth and it just winds up being fuck sickos every sentence. <laughs> and it's funny. Like, I agree. Gender Look, you try to disagree tubes. with me, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what grinds my gears? Women. Go to any Discord <laughs> server. That's what's going on. But especially right. King Cobra. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go to some video content. <laughs> well, first of all, it's not that black hairline. magic. It's black magic. I don't fuck with white magic. I fuck with black magic. <laughs> I fuck with black magic and demon magic and shit. I'll summon demons into my body for demonic powers and shit. Super dangerous, <laughs> by the way. Gotta be careful with that. Dangerous dude. <laughs> Not to be it's fucked mutual with. Mutual respect. This man's power. Kind of thing. You have to realize uh. that... The demonic forces you fuck with could fuck your shit up in the blink of an eye. <laughs> it's a mutual respect, you, two, you know. So it's it's very similar to psychedelics. If you don't respect the demons, you're gonna have a bad trip. I... <clears throat> the demonic forces I work with are only gonna show me respect if I show them respect. That's just how it works demonic forces are known for the respect they show oh man all right viewers you're possessed that's it is the music from the omen or like rosemary i have no idea i actually didn't like that this was using music it doesn't need music he do be looking like a catfish. He does look like a catfish. He looks like Gigi <laughs> Allen's corpse in his fucking coffin. He's very dangerous. True that. You leave yourself susceptible to demonic forces. 
<laughs> oh man. Did you guys know this kid in elementary school? Middle yeah. school, maybe more of a middle school. Yeah, I knew a kid exactly yeah, like that when I was twelve. Yeah. yeah, I knew a dude like that. I did. When I was like nine, there's a kid who was like twelve who was like that, and I'm like, wow, that kid was cool. <laughs> when I'm twelve, I want to be just like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had the same kind of vibe with that dude. He 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 would do the face paint like he looked like exactly like my Chemical Romance, but he was twelve. Mm. See, I was, I, was cool. yeah. I was a little, I, for me, this was all, like, before that stuff. Like, it was all, like, Columbine shit. It was a fucking Marilyn Manson. Yeah. The, the funny thing is, like, <laughs> to a degree, like, uh, and it was it was the Columbine shit. Like, uh, Nazi imagery was fucking cool. And it was the same thing with, like, Newgrounds.com. And that, that was, like, the fucking vibe. You wanted to be, like, yeah. the bad dude who was, like, molested by mm. their dad or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this guy, I mean, like, I'm, I'm saying my chem, this was made before my chem, this is probably like, like, more like Marilyn Manson era. Hell um, yeah, I love that shit. Yeah, we were, I don't know, he scared me, but it was, he was cool. <laughs> the, yeah. dude, the dude I knew, he fucking, one time, I don't know what happened, there was a pocket knife involved, and I got called into the principal's office, and they're like, yo, did you know your friend, like, threatened someone with a knife in the school bus? And it was like a week after Columbine. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I don't know, but they—they they, it was such a fucking huge deal, dude. It was the biggest deal in the world. I was scared shitless. Mm. The principal was fucking blaming me. Come on now, guy. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what made a cool kid back in the nineties. <laughs> right. You want to know why the demons? They don't fuck with me like they do Christians or Catholics. Because I denounced Christ and accepted Lucifer as my Lord and Savior. <laughs> That's why. Got him. She's just like slightly crossed that. Like the little crucifixion bit. of Jesus. He's got an eye that is getting fucking lazier and more shiftless by the fucking minute, dude. Yeah. This is an old yeah. video, but that shit, dude, it is, it is doing even less work now than it was doing then. And it is no coincidence that it's on the left side, left yeah. hand path. The evil you know? side. This is what they, dog. <laughs> they said they said that the Dijal would be one eyed, and that he would Ew. in prophecies he has a deformity in one of the eyes. And if you see him from far away, you'll think his eyes are normal. But if you see him close up, or maybe it's the other way around. Oh fuck, dude! Antichrist, I'm telling you. He's the Antichrist. He's coming. He's a coming. I'm He's got common. an evil doll in the background. He's an evil puppet. Ventriloquist? Yeah, yeah that dog's <laughs> there. That doll's name is fucking um, Rubberneck. Yeah. We're literally watching Schizophrenic. I, I lied to you. <laughs> We're just watching Schizophrenic tonight. This <laughs> Christ is probably one of the funniest things to happen in the Bible. Like the funniest thing. Laugh my ass off just thinking about it. He's a terrible person. <laughs> Look this, at uh, it's like rolling back in his head. What the fuck? This new David Lynch movie is <laughs> kind of odd. We're going to go to the next <laughs> video. <laughs> I don't need seven minutes of this. It just goes on like that. <laughs> He's got the Venom shirt on. Nice Venom shirt. <laughs> I had that shirt. Believe that I can do be a lot cooler if he hold actually hold listened up. to them. He's going to do his magic. He's going to give us a... Uh, you know, a demonstration here. Chee balls. Chee oh, balls. He's funny, gonna do a chee ball. Yes, I can prove it. Cheese balls. So you have a squizzle of this real quick. Mm, get a squizzle. Wanna see a chee ball? How about a green one? <laughs> there's blue. Yep. There's oh, there's a flash of green. Yep. Right there. Checks out. You guys seeing this shit? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's some yellow. I saw some yellow in there, dude. There's a couple she balls from Facebook. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Old Dylan card flips. Says, My friend doesn't believe you can do chi balls. Can you show him? Now Dylan says, Hell yeah. He's freaking Oh out. hell yeah. He demand Johnny's <laughs> medicine, what? Acupuncture, what? Yeah. Tai Chi. That what? comes from years of studying Tai Chi and observing its teachings. He's a Tai Chi master. He seems guys. to impress people. Hadouken, what? Visible Chi forming. He's gonna throw a Hadouken. Get your cocoa was on the flip side. 
spirit bomb teams. <laughs> you got, how do you guys think of that? Are you impressed with the chi balls? Awesome. Can you guys do? Let's do some chi mm. balls together, dude. I'm, I'm terrified. What, color, color, this, what this colors do you see? Power. This dark mm. power. The seething blue, energies then. of Lucifer. Oh <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. Seething dude. calm of Lucifer. Should I? Can I do ch Tai Chi, or should I wait till I'm sixty-five? <laughs> Wait till you're like almost dead, and then learn a whole new craft and like full yeah. skill tree. Well, okay, That's a good call. Let me rephrase the question then: Am I ever going to use Tai Chi to beat someone's ass? Yeah. Mm. All right. When you're sixty-five. <laughs> when I'm an old man, I'm an old man. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give <laughs> you really a, a fucking you, Hadouken. Man. That's when they really come for you, dude. My Shit. brother, you must become Master Roshi. I, I want to to do Tai Chi because I like uh, like Taoism and all the the origins right. of it, but I also want to be able to like use laser beams to fuck your shit up if you get too close <laughs> to me. So <laughs> I don't know. Hell yeah, dude! I hear it. Let's go to the next yeah. video, dude. Go to the next clip. This, for some context here, King Cobra is going to... Dis he's describing his dream house. He's very, very obsessed with his dream house that he's going to receive. Mm. You will not get a dream house. He gets his. So <laughs> He's buying it in Yarnum. Yeah. Bogborn. The one they <laughs> ring after this one. <laughs> he likes clock towers. Hmm. All right, here it comes. This this one right here. This one. Dude, you go to your dealer's house. You go to your dealer's house, and he's like, "Dude, you got to hang out for like forty five minutes, or my mom is gonna know that I'm selling weed." So you're like, "Ah, oh, fuck. All right, I'll chill here for a while." <laughs> so you're sitting on the fucking couch, and he's like, "Hey, let me ch let check out these fucking these bell gongs <laughs> that I'm gonna use when I get my my clock tower dream house." And he starts fucking playing them. And he's like, here, this is the one. Listen to this. And he's like, oh, wait, no, no, no. Hold, no, it's next. It's coming next. It's coming next. And that's how you have to spend your 45 minutes at your dealer's house. Right. <laughs> These are all on like electronic motors where you flip a switch. It's a bit more nuanced. Bell tower ringing technology has gotten <laughs> so crazy, dude. <laughs> like, literally, you can download an app on your phone, <coughs> and then you attach the appropriate components to your bells and your tower. On all you gotta do now to ring a bell is whoosh, open up the app in your smartphone, and then click on the bell you want to ring, and then it sends a cell phone signal to your tower, and it rings the bells. Which I think is a bit too far. <laughs> like, I draw the line on electronic motors. Some it's of demonic your tubes. are extremely old. So Yeah, I, I draw the line at steam powered bells. <laughs> They're actually they should be it powered by they should be powered by fermenting Mountain Dew. Right. <laughs> oh man. We heavy boil bell. the dew. <laughs> Look at him shape shift. We we Power the, the bells. <laughs> Mama JF for the drink of Zidu. The shape, his uh, his hologram is, is dropping, and we can see his true form a little bit underneath. Right. He looks kind of like um Letty from from fucking. Uh, <laughs> thing. All right. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you guys see that? There, you, guys bit, see yeah. that right? you see a little, maybe I like can... maybe a little bit of Britney Venti. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I just say, uh, fucking mall goth Amish dude, really. That's, that's what I'm seeing. Looking like a young <laughs> Sarah Palin. I Let's get having this. an electronic motor to an extent, but the same hands you pray with should be the same hands you ring your bells with. That's Very just same. my personal opinion. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, that's loud, dude. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> mm. This is in a uh, European language. I'm pretty sure Dutch or 
some what shit like that. Sure. Fake language. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> Glocky four dash e. One thousand kilograms. Hold so on to your these butts. These are freaking huge, dude. That's what she said. Hey. <laughs> Now, if I built my clock towered mansion, one clock towered would be enough. One to rule them all, man. <laughs> Will you help fund this man's I mansion? Would, would be a little bit taller mm. than the one in Cheyenne. <laughs> and it would have 48 bells. 47 would be 48. on a grand carillon, which would give it an even four octaves of bells. <laughs> and the 48th bell would sound something like hit me something like that one or like the one in satan's bell where it's just like as the bell rings it's hoarded tone blah, blah, you know i do play know. that spooky music yeah. i'm gonna play it i have the music <laughs> i have the song <laughs> ready i'm not there yet play that <laughs> holy crap youtube song. eight songs <laughs> at 57 minutes and song number nine is literally gonna push it over an hour we got the music. Oh my! <laughs> no, no, that's a spoiler. I'm gonna play in better quality as we go on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so get to loud. it. Here we go. Now this is. Oh hell yeah! King Cobra is an aficionado of magic wands. Not only does he collect them and have a collection of them, he also has a tendency to make them and sell them. So if you want a King Cobra wand, you can pay fucking hundreds of dollars. I'm not doing it. Cobra calf wands. But this is the power. This is the power of the wand. Right there, YouTube. See that light right there? I call upon my wand and my dark powers to turn <laughs> that light on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, it's it's you can do YouTube. it, man. Oh, oh, almost got it. <laughs> on. Do it. Yeah. That's blinking. Oh, there we go. Boom. He did it. Oh, All right. Shit, dude. Speaking <laughs> of Cobra Craft wands, I got another batch coming up real quick. <laughs> I mean, I right. look like a true like soldier of Satan. <laughs> what did you expect <laughs> a soldier of Satan? Like to what their like? old army would look like. Mm, what yeah. would they look like? Something like that. Like that, yeah. Okay. Well we're on yeah. the same page then. Now <laughs> what people, is the deal? People, and I look, I don't feel like we have to explain the fucking video or anything, but what is the fucking deal with street lights that be blinking like that? Do they do that because they broken or is that some kind of energy save bullshit? I think it's probably some energy save bullshit because like here they've all changed them to blue to save energy. All right. That would surprise yeah. me. If they Nobody's got anything funny to say to that. I, I don't know why I said it. I'm sorry. I will never, <laughs> we'll never speak of the street lights again. <laughs> Actually, yeah. until the next streetlight video, I'm sorry. I'm they sorry. fear sorry. the gothic bad boy, and they, they must fear, turn yeah, off. They I sure do. I feel his right. dark. They just do what he says. I am this jealous point. of his powers. Mm. I fear I've him. I've also used my dark powers to take down ISIS. <laughs> 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 All right. So the volume is not that high. It's as high as I can fucking make it. Apparently, um, we have to listen to this one, and it is good. So let's just, let's try to get through it. Classic, it has to be audible. Dude. I've also used my dark powers to take down ISIS. <laughs> giving energy and aid and magical <laughs> assistance to people fighting those assholes. And, uh... Hell yeah, brother. During one of Got Trump's him. speeches, they were like, they took down the leader of ISIS and everyone shouted, Praise Cobra's magic, and I was like, oh, what? <laughs> what? Remember, remember, it's so it's a classic. Praise Cobra's magic, and I was like, oh, what? <laughs> okay, that's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up, Tukes. Everyone at the Trump that rally, the they all devil. stood up simultaneously and said, praise Cobra's magic. Praise Cobra's magic. <laughs> mm. Oh, I remember that Trump rally. And most things that, that Cobra says, like, are either, like, him not understanding something or, like, s exaggeration. But 
very rarely are they something where I hear him say it and I'm like, that is just fucking, that's not true. He says lies all the time. But usually the lies are smaller. They're like, the girl at the grocery store said that goth guy smells good. That's a very simple lie. And somebody might have even said it at some point. It's possible that one person said it. Now he just keeps repeating the fucking thing. But praise Cobra's magic? No one said that shit. I think they might have said it, is what I'm getting at. I did. Yeah, I was saying, I sure praise Cobra's this. magic. Praise <laughs> Cobra's magic. <laughs> if I praise it, what the fuck can I say? I'm an official brother. <laughs> so, so where are we here? Damn it. Okay, so also King Cobra is known as a great uh like French chef, an artisan artisanal chef. Um, oh, he's very cool. Now, I don't know. We don't have time to go deep on that. <laughs> we could tell you how he gets, he'll do a stream and he gets $100 for his stream. And then he goes on to buy $60 worth of groceries for his next food hack, which is making a cheeseburger with fucking chocolate covered cherries on it. That's the food <laughs> hack. So. It, it gets very deep and very interesting. My favorite, personally, is the deep-fried avocados. Now, you're thinking, like, okay, there's probably some way to pull that off. Like, deep-fried avocado. Like, I, it doesn't, like, straight up throw me off immediately. But, like, he cut them into quarters and just threw them the fuck in there. The fucking skin was on them. And he bites them, oh. and it just crunches. <laughs> Incredible food hack. I'll be using this for years to come. And then he then he's he he his he recommends a pairing of deep fried avocados and ranch dressing to drink in a glass, I guess, because he was just sipping on that shit. It's funny. There's very good stuff, but I thought this was a nice that highlight. Is, that is why he is the food alchemist. Let's check we'll this take... out. Dude, bub, bibble bubble toil and trouble or whatever the fuck, dude. Right? It's Halloween, baby. I gotta clean my stove. Very special Damn goblin. It. Here's it's the, like a dropping uh, shit. the French fry you know, incident. But it'll get cooked off in, in the video, in the uh, fryer, so. <clears throat> Alright, you got all your French fries. And as you can see, that's bubble. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> like motor oil. How is this oh. possible? What you so how you leave? So he's just got a pot on the stove for frying stuff where he never changes the oil because he heard that's how McDonald's does it or some shit. Mm -hmm. Is that <laughs> fuck me, dude? It's all I got so it's like rot. things definitely grow in that and then they boil off and just become part of it, right? <laughs> Yeah, and they're basically yeah. innocuous yeah. at that point. But to call this oil is a little bit of a fucking insult to oil everywhere. Yeah. So in theory, if someone was to teach him how to cook, how to make crack, <laughs> well, yeah. but he can't get cocaine is the problem. He needs like uh, we need, there maybe are ways, my friend. It. We, we even teach, for the retarded, we teach him how to extract crate or make kratom extract. Yeah. That might be like doable. 300 times, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I've seen, I, I, I had a roommate do it before, so it's doable. Yeah. You're a mistrogen. Yeah. <laughs> I would just dump these in here, but I don't want the grease to splatter, so. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. Is just... <laughs> <laughs> My God. It's so hot. Ah, oh, fuck it. there like that. Eh, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, tubes. Get the fuck in there, dude. <laughs> Just overflowing and like. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, real man. witch's brew Beautiful. happened here, dude. The warlock, the yeah, warlock is at work, dude. <laughs> <laughs> blowing on it. Stop. Stop! You ever look? You ever look at the stove and have to say stop? You know you're fucking up. The romancer. <sighs> Fuck my life, YouTube. I need salt. No. 
Stop! <laughs> Stop. So funny. Look at the fucking floor. What is going on? Now the salt is is not a bad idea. At this point, you've gone you've gone a little past salt, but there there is the idea of throwing salt on the fire and it fucking kills it. I once saw a a video of a man use uh, tomato juice. That shit was funny as fuck. Did you ever have to put out a house fire with tomato juice? <laughs> <laughs> Cobra survives another day. And he gets french fries. Well, you know, that was real fucking smooth of me, too. Yep. He did a great job. He, that was his cauldron, his brew, as we would call it. Mm. Mm. Why? Now, these are the, the things. And that's all he ever cooks is like the things a man learns to cook as soon as he leaves his parents' house. <laughs> right? You're broke as shit, so you yeah. buy, like, spaghetti and burgers and, like, frozen crap and, like, Doritos Robin. and ranch dressing and all, all the things. <laughs> and, like, here he is making them professionally. Yep. He never improves, but, like, he gets paid. He gets paid hundreds of dollars <laughs> a stream for this. And then he blows it on the worst food you've ever seen. Dude, I I made ramen with Cheetos in it the other day. Am I proud of it? No. The internet told me to do it, so I tried it because that's what they do in prison, and I want to be a real homie. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, dude, Cobes would love it. He would love it. We should oh, send him the recipe. Next video. <laughs> What's going on with your YouTube? Okay, so this is wand lathing. How to. This is He explains how he makes his wands that he sells to the public, you, for large money. Big money. Huge. It's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video, man. Thank you. I don't to, like being this close uh, to him. Jared. What the fuck is he? For uh, donating $4.20. The dog collar? What the fuck? Yeah, it's like the dog collar. Are you not a goth bad boy? Oh, I know, but it's so, like, even for him, it's so It's to hide the, it's yeah. hide the neck, dude. I guess. <laughs> so For his bad. master. Holy shit. Two cents to my plate. cash app. Cheers. You ever drink a Doritos? <laughs> I see dude. how the wands were made. They're pretty bomb, dude. They are, they're good. They're good yeah, as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I like them. Yeah, I like them, too. The grapefruit ones are good, too. To I'm actually oh, shocked he has an actual light. So, the, I know, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I, I'm sure this isn't the best work ever done, but like... They no, look good, and I feel like I could do this. Oh, it's doable. Yeah. It blows my mind that he's capable of doing this. I ask myself else. why I'm not. <laughs> I mean, this guy's in the order of nine angles. Yeah, Cobes, he's the leader. Yeah, yeah he's the leader. Now that I got the thickness I want. Yeah, it's just machining, but with wood. A different yeah, just gotta jerk it off a little shot. bit. <laughs> Although he's like getting way too close to that fucking thing than I would. I know, he wraps his hand around it while it's spinning a couple times. I feel like that's not a good idea for some reason. No, that's like how to get your hand like ripped into it and lose your hand. <laughs> just Bring waiting for his beard Michaels. to get caught. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube. That's what's up, too. Yeah, he's like reaching over the top of it. Yeah. Yeah. Lines to it too to make it more defined. That looks like yeah, decent. Like, that like if I made that, yeah. I'd be proud of myself. But I'm not good with yeah. my hands. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fuck up with the sandpaper. No, he can't fuck it up. He, he's gone too far. We can't oh, fuck no. this up. No, he's not. Oh, he, he almost does there. You can jerk it off a little bit. That's stupid there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially with the rings. TWU machining. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, Tubes. Professional wand makers will use wand blades. 
I'll be professional. Wand later. Specifically <laughs> made for wands. Well, yeah, I didn't know Warner and Quasi made the wand later. Hey, you know he's just right. cleaning. He's just cleaning up like this for the camera. He would just leave that shit and inhale it forever. Get a sweet buzz off it. Awesome. Right. I don't blame him. Jerk it off a little bit. <laughs> He's made like a badass little bat, like he has now. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I would love to hit a guy with that. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a reason I want to just keep on this for a while. I wonder what he's doing for Halloween this year. And Can't on wait. Top of that, you They're harder to make, too. They take longer to make them this way, and they're harder to make. That's why I charged so much money for I guarantee them. that chisel is nice. fucking so dull. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Tell, it's like Making Never sharpened. Is one of the hardest things to do on a lathe because of how small you gotta make it. Not that hard. You know what makes it real valuable is putting a dead bug on it. Right. No dead bug, Double. no buys. Yeah. Wood glue some pubic hairs on yeah. it. You know? <laughs> it's like voodoo. Right. I'm gonna buy this fucking wand. You know what we should do? I want to. Man, I'd like to get a hold of Cobra and have him on to tell me about magic and wand making. Right. I'd love to do that. You probably would. Uh, I would need an inroad. I would need an in. I wouldn't be able. There's no way to just get a hold of him, really. Yeah. And he doesn't trust people. Like, he doesn't just show up. He, he could fucking make a killing just showing up on podcasts and streams. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's too stupid to realize that. <laughs> it's like Kirk Fan. He's not smart enough to monetize his retardation. Yeah. If you want to make wands with a wood lathe... They're quite fun to make, but it takes practice, you know? Practice makes perfect. Lord knows, I went through so many of these wand wood pieces before I got to where I am right now. You could be Cobra if you wanted to you practice. Could be co Become the Cobra. Become the Cobes. <laughs> I mean, it's the notches don't look terrible on no, the handle. I, no, other than that. I mean, I'm yeah, assuming yeah. for like an amateur that looks fine. It's yeah. kind of how it is. No, I'll find the right of a cisgendered female. Like, I'm shocked he had Cisgendered female. Someone had to have like taught him this with a grandfather or something. <laughs> I, Cobes knows how to watch YouTube and learn something, to be honest. There's one thing he knows is how to watch YouTube. You can hear him getting fucking impatient when it starts really grinding. Yeah. He's just getting sick of doing it. All that work, and he just fucked it up, dude. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, you've learned how to make a wand with King Cobra. Under <laughs> the next video. Where does he keep his, like, because I know he lives in, like, a shitty apartment. Where does he keep his fucking lathe at? In like, the back, behind his chair, next oh, to the bo puppet. Yeah, literally oh, behind him. <laughs> he just gets fucking dust in the apartment. Dude, yeah. Oh, yeah.
big. T- I'm sure that dude, he's going to get cancer just like breathing. His in apartment things. before that one, he was spray painting yeah. lawns dude. indoors with no ventilation, no <laughs> mask, nothing, you know? Yeah, dude. And he's like smoking pencil shavings and God knows what. <laughs> It's bad, but here we have a demonstration of a functional wand that he didn't fucking break. This right here was a wand in my collection. I had to fix it. No, he broke this one too. Wasn't right. Yeah, he broke this one too, actually. So I fixed it, and it looks good. This would be about as short as I would make my wands. This is a nine-inch wand. Any shorter, it wouldn't look right. So no shorter than nine inches. It's a rule. Just because, you know, yeah. Oh, look, we have a crosswalk sign right there. There's no button to cross oh, this side walk. of the street. Oh, don't walk? Kazam! There's one, there's one, there's a button for this side over here, but not a button for this side. So, yeah. How about some walk sign? Come <laughs> Give on. Me. What you got? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. By the power so of he's Satan. Like that game, like you play when you're a kid. <laughs> yeah, no, it, absolutely. It's the two P's of magic, yeah. YouTube. Walk sign, motherfucker. Let's see it. The PP of magic. <laughs> there we go. He got it. Got yeah. On I'm going to say three oh. things, YouTube. Respect women, respect the dead, and respect your elders. <laughs> Wise words to live by. Especially dead old women. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm. We got him, YouTube. <laughs> Next. As the bell rings. Okay, so here we have King Cobra's song, Satan's Bell. This is known to be his best song. So, oh, man. make sure Ooh, to enjoy banger, it dude we can kind of take a break for this one there's no reason to talk over the song if you want to step away for a moment feel free <laughs> so let's rock and roll this thing it's for tone satan's call will be heard throughout the land <laughs> <laughs> satan's <Amazing. laughs> <Wow. laughs> he just burped a little <laughs> ah! <laughs> Loud as fuck. Satan's Yeah, this is some real avant garde metal. This is the best part. This is the best part of the song. Start marching. <laughs> Really hard sound to make. It's um, it sounds like it hurts them. <laughs> yeah. I can make sounds that hurt me too. Doesn't mean they're good. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, like a lot of black metal is like almost as bad as this. Yeah, well, there was a time when, when the situation called for it. It no longer right. calls for it. <laughs> yeah, I think they could. he could have gotten over with his band at some point in time. Well, is there a band or is this just a digital drum? Yeah, it's just him doing I don't know what he's doing exactly. Yeah. 
it sounds like he's fucking in a digital drum and uh, maybe some like garage band guitar. Yeah. Know, well, that's definitely him playing guitar. Oh, okay. This does sound like the shit I would write when I was 16. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except I never tried to be fucking King Diamond, because that shit sucks. Great. Right. Can you imagine Mosh into this in the pit? I was trying to be the Stooges. <laughs> they should oh, play yeah. this, this song every year at Thrive, though. This should be the national anthem. Yeah. <laughs> Get Biden to find the King Code. Amazing. Glorious. It's the best black metal band ever. Suck on that, <laughs> Varg. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> Varg. Varg can't compete. Varg sells so seething ever. over bog chads. <laughs> <laughs> Try writing that oh. in prison. <laughs> Next video. Right. How, how many more you do sing? I have? Let me double check. Yep. What up? He's singing about pride, and that is like really, this is like really a really good advertisement. Of what 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 can go wrong with pride? Yeah, Indeed. I mean, yeah, because like believe in it. No, maybe don't believe in yourself. Actually, yeah, maybe don't. <laughs> don't believe don't believe in shit. Just kill yourself. Maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> <Don't believe. laughs> Enjoy your gift. Enjoy the duster. You can a sweet high from it. Dustin makes me feel good. Dustin. <laughs> Open your eyes. Enjoy your gift. Enjoy the duster. You can a sweet high from it. From KC. <laughs> I'm sure you can, but I'll use it for my computer. Dustin, Dustin, Dustin makes me feel I'm good. I'm sure he'll use it for his computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's off camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> makes me feel good. And it makes you fucking sad. Feel good. And it makes you fucking sad. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you miss your father. Makes you wish you had a father. It does. It makes my trolls beyond fucking sad. That's true. So he is huffing computer duster, and it does make him feel good, it turns out. He's enjoying it very much. He's adding new <laughs> drugs to his repertoire, easily bought drugs. Best Buy can be your drug dealer, if you think about it. <laughs> Best Buy. Makes me I... feel good. <laughs> Yeah, mm. walking on sunshine. YouTube. <laughs> walking We're on sunshine, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, thank you for your great two big dollars. Crap person. Love you. Please I don't huff duster. It killed my cousin. <laughs> Rip. Eh, I'm a eh. fucking duster. Yeah. Steve-O was Steve-O survived. You know, no big deal. <laughs> Now, oh, here's the thing. I don't think Duster would ever kill a person. Unless you're driving, of course. <laughs> Which right. happens. I don't think... Duster probably will burn brain cells, but it won't fucking kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it can't be good man. for your brain. You're contributing Either is to watching something greater Cobra, than though, any of so. us <laughs> by donating to my channel, and I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I want to watch this again. Did he deny it straight up? I, We're I was beyond fucking Gucci YouTube. Beyond fucking Gucci. Jack, thank you for your two dollars. Love you. Please don't huff duster. It killed my cousin. Eh, I'm not huffing duster. 
<laughs> that's extremely funny that is very fucking funny that he thinks he... now this is me when i was like fucking 13 like in my bed at night and like my mom would come and be like what's that noise just tough and duster mom <laughs> so this cosmic peach monster <laughs> So here we have, this is just after Bob Barker died um, of Price is Right fame, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So here, this is a monster chug in honor of our boy, Bob Barker. Rest in peace. God. Peace be upon him, I suppose. <clears throat> Nitro chug is for uh, Bob Barker. I'll do the best I can to chug it if I uh, pull it down, you know, it's because, look. Chugging carbonated beverages like this is uh it's it's tricky. It's a skill. Too. It really is. <laughs> but chug, 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 You should have got the lot monster. So much better. Fuck that shit. He no, loves fuck. Uh, I don't want it. A piece of the can. I want the whole damn thing. That's right. Yeah, I've been in kind of a ugh, funk lately. <coughs> Excuse me. He's okay. He's okay, everyone. <coughs> There's a crayon coming up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just happened. <laughs> Oh, it sure drinking. did, Cobes. It sure oh, did. Man. Sober from alcohol all day. Dude, that was. Notice he says sober from alcohol. Huh? That was projectile vomit, like in a movie. Dude, that was. <laughs> dude, this is, like a, like this is my thing about Cobes <laughs> is that he has the most perfect comedic timing. Like he's in a fucking movie. All <laughs> Doug, you ever see this guy sneeze? <laughs> When he sneezes, it's the funniest shit in the world. Somehow the timing is perfect with the sneeze. And it's the funniest <laughs> crap you've ever heard in your life. It's unbelievable. Oh, man. Now, this is what, what people used to say back when Matt was on the fucking on the yeah, show. His mic would cut, his out. Mic would cut <laughs> out. And it was always timed perfectly so he looked like the biggest retarded asshole possible. It's He's funny. Like, Guys, I know what's happening. This is what exactly, and it would be like, you'd It'd just be off. It's beyond a skill. You can't you can't train to do this. Like people are born with that sort of timing naturally. The rhythm of the earth, man. God, right. it's incredible. So notice he said that he was sober from alcohol. So he's not sober. Let's just watch it again. I want to watch it again. Am I the only one who wants to watch keep it? Again? Going? Like just end your video. Like why would <laughs> <laughs> well that just happened i wasn't even drinking in fact i've been sober from alcohol all day all day everywhere dude it's everywhere well so much for that <coughs> oh <laughs> Second. Rest in peace, Bob Barfer. Oh, <laughs> oh God. God damn it, dude. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Funniest shit I ever did see, dude. You ever see that time? A guy called King Cobra puked all over himself in memory of Bob Barker. Right. Funniest shit I ever saw. I thought I'd way to pay tribute. Uh, Bob Barker would love this throw up. <laughs> Bob Barfer. Bob Barker yeah. would have loved this. Bar mm. He's fine. I'm so sorry, Bob. <laughs> Bob Barker, I'm so fucking so sorry. So sorry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I stubbed my toe earlier and curled it on my left foot. Oh, shit. Uh, that's as bad as Bob Barker died. Oh, God damn it. I am so sorry to Bob Saget and his... <laughs> Bob Saget. Bob Saget. <laughs> I did not mean to just throw up on Dude, camera like that. In your beard. No, I haven't had any alcohol in like the last couple of days. That's why I'm making my own because it's cheaper and I want to see YouTube. 
Oh, like, fuck. vomit is still everywhere. It's everywhere, but, dude. But dude, here's the like, for real. Vomit. You saw the lathe. You saw fucking wood shavings everywhere. You saw him shake up a beer and spray it all over his little living situation mm-hmm. here. You saw him barf all over himself. All I can say is chair bugs be eating good tonight. Chair bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So here he did talk about being a vintner a little bit. He is making his own alcohol. Um yeah, but before that, I also have a theory as to why he's barfing so much. Up YouTube, it's your boy King Cobra. Look what I have. This is a Kratom peach mango. Alright, alright, now Holy I'll say shit, this. Holy shit, a hundred come on, bro. Let me look around me real quick. Do I have an old spent bottle? I might have thrown them all out. The ones I buy are like 350 milligrams. So this is the pussy Holy one. Shit. And the half that fucking bottle is peach mango flavor. And it's still going to taste like ass. But here's the thing about Kratom. <laughs> Kratom, first of all, it puts a lot of bullshit fucking like uh, plant material into your stomach. Which makes you yeah. nauseous. But now it also, because it's an opioid, it gets turned into some sort of opiate in your body. It's not an opiate. It's an opioid. I don't know what the difference is, but one of like, if you're not used to taking opiates and having that kind of effect, most people will get nauseous from it. So when he says that he's been sober from alcohol, he's been taking fucking Kratom. And that's why he's barfing like that because he's got plant matter in his stomach and he's not used to taking fucking opiates. But this fucking 150 milligram bullshit with the peach mango flavor, absolute retarded nonsense. I get the MIT 45s, it's like 350 milligrams, and there ain't no flavor. It just tastes like ass, dude. The worst shit you've ever tasted. (laughs) Peach mango. Pick it up from a local Indian man. Local spot here in town. That's (laughs) what's up. Local Indian man. Yeah. (laughs) We jerk that bottle off. It says shake well before drinking. Yeah. All right. Kratom bar, 150 milligrams pure kratom extract, peach mango. Look at that. I get the flavor is gonna make it better. Yeah, dude. That's like Jerking it's like the, it's the when they say like putting perfume on a skunk. Bits. Like that's how it is. Like yeah. it's gonna be like a flavored, Just, um, terrible, terrible taste. You get my Saturday, and that'll be like Sunday a peach mango flavor to have instead of just a half. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta jerk the bottle off a little Good bit. Good stuff, man. <laughs> Dang, that cowbell is fucking outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> How can you be a fucking like goth bad boy if they know you're coming? You know what I mean? Like, right. you gotta be sly. Uh, Real things right. moving silence Tough. like lasagna. Like lasagna, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> a childproof cap. Can't open it. Can't open it. The Boglin proof. Oh. Got a couple of pretty sweet uh, CBD dispensaries here in town. Tard proof. That's pretty sweet. That's what Indeed. it is, dude. <laughs> it is. You can't figure it. You can't be very highly regarded if you can open this. Doesn't want to come open, does it? <laughs> Poor shit. Hold up. I mean, you got knives everywhere, bro. I know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Literally, me in the parking lot of the gas station. <laughs> Fucking open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like working. He's meditating on it, considering it, strategizing. Whooping his ass. <laughs> That's one bottle of blueberry wine that I will never drink again. Why would I buy that shit? I didn't buy it. My girlfriend did. Blueberry wine. It's delicious. Delicious. And nutritious. It is. Kind of. Cool wake up. I said it. I don't have anything to drink now, but I've been drinking. Here, I'll just yeah. take a hit off the fucking... Oh, come on now. You know what the tradition Ooh, that's is. That smells delicious. Cheers. Yummy. Mm. 
Damn it, I drank all my fucking Modelo. Otherwise, I would he loves it. He me. loves it. Oh, that is tasty. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Dude, that is tasty. Dude, Dude that, I can promise you that shit is not tasty, Chad. I promise. It tastes like peach mango ass water. Basically. That's the tastiest <laughs> Kratom shot I've ever had. I might Look believe that, that but that's not kratom. saying much. Not, that's not saying, yeah. <laughs> Next video. All right, so now, once again, Vintner King Cobra. He bruises, or I guess bruise. What a it's gourmet. A brew, right? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's a brew. Bubble, bubble, toil in trouble. This shit tastes just like mead. Day YouTube. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I forgot how fucked up this video is. Okay, so <laughs> little backstory. Cobra learned that you can make your own hooch, hooch, prison wine. Yeah, by taking juice, wine. putting a bunch of sugar in it, putting yeast in it. And he was doing it, he's gotten into it, he drinks, he sips on it, dude, you gotta test it every couple hours. The thing is, that he went nuts with it. Now he's putting fucking fresh fruit and honey in it, turning it into mead. Now the thing is, if you're gonna put fresh fruit in it, like, it, there's gonna be, have to be a certain alcohol level, I believe, that like that you maintain in order to keep bacteria from growing. He's sipping on it every day on the hour, yeah. adding bacteria to this shit. And I'll tell you this, honey is the number one cause of botulism. <laughs> what? Can't, can't go well. That's something I heard. I don't know. Fact check me. YouTube. When I came home, that balloon was pretty fucking huge. So I very lightly twisted the cap. That's the other thing. With this balloon, I've done this. I've made prison hooch. Yeah. I drank it. I took one sip of the shit and was like, this is trash. It's not for me. And I dumped it the fuck out. It was a waste of time. <laughs> it wasn't very expensive. It's fine. I tried it. I like trying things in life. It was trash. The thing about it is as it ferments, it releases gas. So the idea is you take a uh, balloon and you put it on the top, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put a hole in the fucking balloon so it can actually fucking vent. And not just explode yeah. the balloon. That's not what he's doing. He's supposed to be burping this fucking thing. Getting the gas out of there. And he's doing a very poor job maintaining this. With the honey and the fresh fruit. It's sure to go to shit. He's still doing this crap to this very day. So, <laughs> so I very lightly twisted the cap. It looks disgusting in there. That looks does, fucked looks like bro. Hot. And it could probably look a lot better if the fresh fruit wasn't in there, just like deteriorating and like biodegrading yeah. in there, dude. <laughs> Didn't take the balloon to the point to hold her off. Barely, barely cracked the seal on it. I heard a little hiss. That balloon began to slowly deflate back into the bottle. And then Damn. I it back nice He'd be and sipping on this shit. While giving it shakes. Right. And that condensation and foam off the side Oof. of it. Because when I got home, mm. that foam was real thick. Yeah. I had to strain that fruit out of it <laughs> on the 30th so it don't get moldy. And then we'll add like three cups of that pure cane sugar and a little bit of water. And then we're going to let it age. But that's a meat <laughs> update, folks. Age dry. This is looking. By let it age, he means sip on it every couple hours. Nice. Didn't have to take the balloon off. Like I said, just barely twist the cap and it began to hiss. Look at them fingernails. <laughs> can we get a good shot of that? Can, uh, producer, can we get a good oh. shot? Can we get a good shot? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, pull that up. Yeah, pull that shit up, Jamie. He's got like shit oh, under his yes. nails. That's like a busted ass now. That's like blood and bruise. And... Yeah. But that is like, I don't know what, dude. I don't know. Dookie. Dookie dump for sure. <laughs> Dookie. <laughs> so what would if you're gonna have a you're gonna make a nice wine like what what kind of meal are you gonna pair that with is the next question. I think that's answered in our next clip. <sighs> Here, King Cobra is eating a can of cat food. Oh, 
<laughs> really enjoying it. Now, the thing is, oh, every, everyone knows King Cobra, his trolls like to send him food and like have him leave it at the door. He's got a sign in his door that autistically says, don't knock. I'm streaming my YouTube trolls, gang stalking, yada, yada, whatever the fuck. So they put in the, the special order, like they'll put like, <laughs> ignore the sign. And so people <laughs> knock anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but other people have gotten kind of wise to that and it's not ignore the sign they just order giant bags of ice and have them set them outside the door and Cobra doesn't even know they're there <laughs> as they melt um, but on this occasion the trolls sent him cat food and he was like oh ha ha the trolls think they're going to get one over on old Cobra well I'll show them they're not going to get the reaction they want out of me I'm going to eat this cat food <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. I'll show them ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> I tried one bite for y'all. Tried one bite. Mm. Oh. <laughs> trolls are owned trolls completely fucking ownified <laughs> yeah <laughs> yo this cat food is Slaps. more disgusting than a <laughs> poop <laughs> my youtube <laughs> trolls obsession with me is more disgusting than this cat food and that's really saying something mm. I am dirty troll. <laughs> Oh. Like, ha ha, we sent oh. Cobra some cat food. Fuck him. How's that trolling? Snake plushie you know, falls you're down. Gonna waste, the... You're going to go out yeah. of your hard earned <laughs> money to send Cobra cat food because you're jealous I get actual human food <laughs> from my fans. <laughs> you're jealous of my human food? Would <laughs> <laughs> <Wait, laughs> a human say that? Human food? Mm. Is he a human? I mean, though? I eat no, he is fish, not. Like sardines and shit. Old. So this is not too out of the realm of, you know, like I'll eat a, a can of canned tuna, like it's nothing. <laughs> but that's for humans. Actual fucking cat food. Cat food. Second pot. <laughs> Like, what am I doing for a Saturday? I want to watch Cobra eat cat food because this is, <laughs> this is the highlight of my life. It's worst Watching ways Cobra to spend a Saturday. It's pretty goddamn cat funny. Food on YouTube oh, Live. yeah. <laughs> well, what were the fucking trolls expecting? What was, what was. Okay, so that's the end of the clip. I can promise you, yeah. he ate that whole fucking can. That's, that's fucking nasty. It's fucking vile. Shit. He he it's went horrible. on. Yeah. He made he made he okay. The trolls ordered him a fucking like uh, Big Mac or some shit. They had it delivered <laughs> to him, and it was nothing but fucking salt and sauce. It, everything else was like requested off of the burger, and they just gave him salt and sauce. <laughs> he got another can of cat food, and he put the cat food. On the Big Mac he got <laughs> that had no meat on it, and he ate the fucking cat food burger. <laughs> <laughs> the cat food arc is not over, folks. It's not over. Mm. So oh, not yeah, let's let's go on to this this animation, oh, which is wonderful. Let's we're Frisky we're finishing Cobra. up Cobra here. I got a couple more. I'd make my clock towered mansion solar powered so it'd be easy and cheap as fuck on electricity. <laughs> the most I would be paying would be property tax. This temple looks like a car. I have like 20 it's acres of yep. land. I have like a spooky little forest surrounding it. <laughs> I'd have a security gate where you have to like punch in a code to unlock it or a buzzer or like, eh. And then I have like an intercom TV system at the front door like who is it push the button oh hey it's homeboy scotty what up I'll let you in. <laughs> push the button shh, shh, gates open up yep incredible wow. <laughs> amazing amazing so let's let's take a, mm. a look at a parallel universe 
if, the good ending, if you will. And let's observe. I, I've lived a very normal life. Oh, check out the sunrise. It's my house. <laughs> Average Joe Schmo taking a shower over here, you know. <laughs> and I graduated. No tubes. Got my diploma. I have a job. I have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> we all do and say stupid shit we're not proud of. <laughs> He's gotta be goal motivated, you know what I'm saying? Nightmare. <laughs> you may find yourself. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful life. <laughs> Who are these people? Are they gang stalking me? <laughs> oh, incredible. <laughs> this is not my delicious mead. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't taste just like mead. <laughs> Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. There's plenty of Cobra to go around until he dies of cancer from inhaling too many terrible, terrible things. But hey, that goes for all of us, doesn't it? Right. <laughs> yep. So true. How much fucking red hot metal can I inhale in my life? We're going to find out. <laughs> going for the high score. So, yeah. I feel like I should have one more aluminum, thing. Yeah. I got a few things laying around. Just How do we end this? I'm out of Cobra. I can promise you that. <laughs> um, uh, family finds out unmarried daughter is pregnant, sets her on fire in forest. Which kind of <laughs> No laugh for that? No giggle? <laughs> which country? A 23-year-old unmarried woman was set on fire allegedly by her family members in Uttar Pradesh's Hapur. Hapur? Hapur. Uttar Pradesh's Hapur. After they discovered that she was pregnant, police said on Friday, the incident took place in the Wada Kurd village. The woman, who was in critical condition after sustaining over 70% burns to her body, has been referred to another has been referred to another hospital for treatment. The woman's mother and brother have been taken into custody. According to the police, the woman was in a relationship with a man from the same village and became pregnant. When her family members learned about this, they were furious. On Thursday, September 28th, the woman's mother and brother took her to a nearby forest where they sprinkled petrol on her body and set her on fire. The victim suffered severe burns and was rushed to the hospital. That wasn't funny at all. I mean... Depends. This is why I only read headlines and don't read the article, <laughs> right? <laughs> what else do we have? Whatever the other random things we have to talk about. They found Tupac's murderer. What kind of psyop is this? Oh, mm. I mean, they just blamed gang shit. Mossad. <laughs> Mossad killed Tupac. I'm when inclined to agree. Blame Mossad. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I tend to believe that Tupac is alive, Elvis is alive. They're all alive. They're waiting for Tupac me. Tupac is alive in Serbia. Know. They need me to be their top guy. They're on the Serbia Brotherhood, the, the, inter the, the Intergalactic Brotherhood of Life, uh, Light Crap, <laughs> with They're Jesus and Luke Skywalker. With fucking <laughs> Stone Cold E.T.? What? Give me a hell yeah, Stone dude. Cold e. <laughs> Stone Cold E.T. If you want a new you world know, order, give you know, me a the hell yeah. Yeah, you know about the Galactic Brotherhood? The what? The Galactic I mean, I've Galactic heard, Brotherhood. I've heard of it as the Galactic <laughs> Federation. That, like, I'm more of a Galactic Federation guy than I am a, a, a Galactic I mean. Championship Wrestling guy. Galactic Federation, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, you know, Luke Skywalker and Jesus are going to come and save us in like the year 20. Are you sure it's not JFK Jr.? And JFK Jr. You could yeah, be JFK yeah. Jr. JFK Jr. You never yeah. know with these things. And RFK. RFK Jr. RFK Jr. <laughs> JFK is going like to his head back. Together. I think RFK Jr. is the Antichrist and JFK Jr. is Jesus. That's what I think is going like, on personally. And and JF Gareppi is yeah. uh, <laughs> going to be president <laughs> he's, in he's 2020. He's the beast. <laughs> he's the beast. <laughs> he's the <market>. Yeah. <laughs> 
if he, if he killed his wife and got away with it, he is like in his own like by his own definition like a gig. He guy. is like, the the president of Migtown. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that like Quickville? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in another dimension. Video? Did you ever see the oh, video man. where he's like, Chad men should be allowed to fuck whoever they want. If a Chad yeah. man wants to fuck a retarded woman. Chad man? Then he's no not allowed to fuck anybody. <laughs> Chad. Is I am a Chad man. retarded so pussy be hidden different. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm all I, about... I discovered her weakness is that she's retarded. I believe I'm in so retarded pussy. I'm an advocate of retarded pussy. <laughs> but you can't kill her. Don't kill her, dude. Don't set her free. Because the thing is, you can set her free. But it has to be, like, within 10 miles of her house. <laughs> Just in a place where she's not going to be able to find your house. Like, that's literally... You didn't have to take her to the woods or whatever. Just take her to the next town. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Woof. Woof, woof. The ATF is outside Yak's house. Who knows? Yeah, they're going to shoot his dog. <laughs> yeah, sure. uh, hearing some weird noises that's for sure who knows maybe it's time to wrap this fucking thing up <laughs> thank y'all for joining us thank you guys for being on the panel man this it's fucking fun. thing oh yeah dude it's fun. Thanks. thank it. you everyone who was watching this shit if you're watching and you're not following make sure you're following thank you very much whoop whoop <laughs> to every single one of you and we'll see you next time most definitely